Today we will learn what's the difference between inner join, left join, right join and full outer join. For that we will need to create two tables to do the practice. The first one is that table. Uh, the syntax is, is always a good idea to start with the name of the database. We are creating this table, capital name, and there are three columns in there, city ID, city and country ID. All of three, three of them are Anwar Cha. Then we are going to insert the data into our newly created table, capital name, and these are the rows that goes in there. This is our second table, create table, country name, country ID, country and city ID, and that's the data that goes in there. If you want to learn more how to create tables, uh, alter the data into the tables, you can watch our SQL series and in chapter three, we have covered all of it. We can copy, uh, we can highlight and execute that. So the table is created, capital name, then highlight that and execute country name. If we refresh our database and expand the tables, so that's capital name and that's country name. Right, let's look at our first example. Uh, first of all, we will look at inner join. So it's a good idea to start with the name of the database. We are going to select all from our country name table and see what have we got in there. Database name, schema name, and the name of the table is country name. We run that. So we have country ID, name of the country, and city ID, and there are 12 rows in this table. If we copy that name and paste this code again, and instead of country name, we put capital name. Capital name, right? So that will bring back city ID, name of uh, city, and then country ID. Okay, so we are going to practice our inner join first. So we start with select and then name of the table. The first one we are going to use is country name. Copy that and paste it here. And it's always a good idea to alias uh, the table names. And we are going to alias is table A. And the syntax is inner join. And inner join with capital name table. Call it B. And now we need to provide the name of the column on which both the table will join a dot ct id so that's the column which exists in both the tables we are going to use ct id okay and then b dot ct id right okay after that now we can bring back the name from our tables okay so we need to provide the alias first. So we are bringing the name of the country from country table and we are going to bring back city from our city table. Sorry, capital table. So if we run that, so that's our inner join. We can also call it, uh, give an alias as capital capital city right the inner join brings back only the matching rows from both the table so this is our left table that's the right table and inner join only brings back where the rows match from left and right let's copy that code is to here instead of left uh, sorry, inner, we are going to use left join. Run that code. 
So what happens now, uh, if we run one more time the inner join, there were 10 rows because the only 10 rows were, which were matching in both the tables. But if we run the left join, now it is displaying 12 rows. What's happening here is it's bringing back everything from the country table and only the matching rows from the capital name table. As you can see, the last two rows is showing null for the uh, capital city, which is uh, the city column coming from capital name. There is no data. That's why it's displaying null, but it's bringing back everything from the country table. In the left join, all the rows are coming from the left table and only the matching rows from the right table. Let's copy that again, paste it here and put right join. So if we run it now, again, it has brought back 12 rows. On this occasion, it has brought back all the data from capital name table, but only the matching rows from the country table. And as you can see, 11 and 12 is brought back as null because there is no match data in the country table. We can call it a right outer join or right join. It brings back all the data from the right table and just the matching rows from the left table. Right. Finally, let's look at full outer join. Full. We can write full outer join or full join, same thing if we run that code. Now it had brought back 14 rows. If you remember, for the inner join, it brought back 10 rows because they were matching in both the tables. In our left and right join, it brought back 12 rows. But in the full outer join, it brought back 14 rows is because there were 12 rows in the country table, which it brought back there. But then there were 12 rows in our capital name table, two nulls which are not matching and these two nulls in the country column which does not match to capital name table. So what happens in the full outer join, it brings back everything from the left table and also everything from the right table. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.